After having a great time exploring Viti Levu with our friend Kyle, we did a short sail over to the island of Banga to wait for a wind shift the next day. Fortunately, Kyle didn't suffer too many ill effects from the trip. So how was the sail over? I feel good now. <laughs> no, it was really nice. It was, it wasn't... There was no hurling over the side, no, that's a victory. No, Amy makes a nice sandwich that really helped calm my nerves. Nothing special. We got to see a storm salad. blow in, we got to see a motu, we got to see some flying fish. Nothing on our lure though. Conspicuous mango tree. Yeah, conspicuous mango tree. A thousand feet down, huh? A thousand feet down. Very conspicuous. Very tall mango tree. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, I'll say, where's our captain? I was getting a little nervous. Worried my hat would blow away. <laughs> well, that looks pretty comfortable. Yeah. Ready for a nice evening movie here. Yeah. Post dinner. Movie in Milano's. Oh, it doesn't get much better than that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's the first time we've ever done this little configuration. Yeah, we've never dropped our table before. Well, so. now we have a legitimate reason for why we got it. Yeah, we got it for movie night. <laughs> Just took us two years to realize it. Totally. <laughs> this could very comfortably be bed for someone. Yeah. Yeah, totally. We enjoyed a relaxing night before setting off to a part of Fiji known as the Astrolab Reef. This was an area less frequently visited by cruisers, and we got lucky with our perfect timing for the wind shift for the sail south. What do you got there, dude? Caught something. Caught a fish. It's not a marlin. I think it's a mahi mahi. Oh, that'd be delicious. Oh, look at that guy. Oh. You want to keep reeling in? Uh, just a little bit. Come back here, buddy. Okay. It's slippery. <laughs> Dude, you got, got a it. fish, man. <laughs> You're good luck. You're sticking with us forever. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how are you feeling, Kyle? Yeah, I'm looking forward to eating him. <laughs> Amy did all the hard work, slicing and dicing, while Kyle and I provided important moral support. The sail didn't take too long, and soon we found ourselves anchored off the island of Dravuni. Just finished our first Cebu Cebu ceremony. Yes. How was it? It was good. Nice. It's good to meet some of the locals. Yeah. What did you think of the kava? The taste is just kind of like... Pretty watery. Root. It really, yeah. It's kind of rooty, I guess. And I shot it pretty quick. Exactly yeah. what you're supposed didn't to. didn't really taste. Just kind of watch. They saw they were shooting it pretty quick. I was like, all right. Down it. can do this. You immediately get like a little bit of a... Your lips and your mouth get a little numbing feeling. But it went away fairly quickly. And now we're allowed to hang out around here for the next few days. Not too shabby. Absolutely beautiful. And there's our girl. We just got invited to another kava little drinking yeah. bowl. We made a couple more bowls of kava. A couple more bowls of kava. Three cups in, feeling pretty relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy also sells coconuts to the cruise ship people, and we went and got some coconuts. Yep. Watching sells coconuts. What a day, huh? Yeah. You need to get that view behind you. Yeah, you're right. The day had turned into a pretty spectacular one, and we topped it off with a dinner of fresh caught fish. Got a delicious dinner. Yes, we cooked Marty the Marlin. No, Marty the Mahi Mahi, sorry. I was going to say, Kyle like named him Marty the Mahi Mahi. Alliterations are the best. <laughs> With the hearty meal giving us energy, we set off on yet another hike the next day. Though I think we were all relieved that Travuni didn't present quite as much of a challenge as Mount Tominibi.
was that climb in comparing to uh, Mount Tomanivy? Much easier. <laughs> 20 minutes. Didn't take two and a half hours. No, it did not take two and a half hours. Yeah, that gassed me for the rest of the trip. <laughs> Different view though, that's for sure. It's hard to describe just how amazing the sensations can be when you look out among all these beautiful tropical islands. The view inspired us to get back to the boat and go swimming. Kyle, I have a very important question. Yes. What on earth are you wearing? <laughs> uh, I don't know. A lovely, lovely little bathing suit I found online. These are for all the, the ladies watching. Kyle Wittenberg. Yeah, you're going to get way more Single and ready to now. mingle. <laughs> That's right. We'll track some fishes in the water too. God. <laughs> Brightly colored coral, coral. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, say that again. You started too early. I'm going to attempt to take this awesome rash guard off. It's stuck to me. <laughs> Is the timer on? Camera's rolling. We'll use that as a timer. <laughs> Need to write O'Neill a letter. I like how you turtle yourself first so you can't see anything. You don't need to see anything. I don't want to rip it, but at the same time, too. <laughs> Why don't you grab the hem and lift it up? Huh? Grab the hem and lift it up. Hold on. I'm almost got an arm out. <laughs> You're not as close as you think. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, victory! <laughs> Kyle right. Wittenberg will not be bested by the shirt. No, I did get bested by a large fish, though. <laughs> After some good hiking and snorkeling, it was time for Phoenix to get a turn and get some great shots from the air.
Our time with Kyle was running short, but we couldn't pass up one last opportunity to play on the beach, even if my athletic prowess wasn't particularly <laughs> on display. Well, hello there, Admiral. What are you looking at on the zoom there? Uh, your face? Hey. Nice try. Kyle Wittenberg, your time with us is about to an end. We have to do an overnight sail. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Yeah? So I'm feeling awesome. This trip's been amazing. All so dramamine up, ready to uh, survive. Yeah, we threw the frisbee on the on the beach, swam with some sea turtles today. And they kind of freaked out the sea turtles. Did not really care for us, which was amusing. Dove off the boat. It's been great. I'm ready for it. Let's do it. Time to go. I like it. Admiral? Let's go fire him up. Alright. The sail started out with a stellar sunset, but the winds picked up and things got a bit rough. We had a few reefs in the sails as we approached Nandi, and we were definitely sailing fast. Kyle was a good sport about it, but I think we were all a bit tired by the end. We have two and a half knots of current headed into Nandi. That's pretty wild. Good thing that the winds picked up and we're moving along quite quickly. Oops. Yeah, let's take a look at the back there. Oh yeah. In spite of the two and a half knots of current against us, we were still flying along at about eight knots. We ended up anchoring outside of the Denaro Marina and went in for one last round of drinks with Kyle. All right. <laughs> Cheers to Fiji. That's the Rovio. <laughs> it's always sad when we have to say goodbye, but this time we had a visit from my brother Thomas to look forward to. Hi hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. We apologize for our slight delay in publishing, but if you follow along on our blog or Facebook, you would know that David's grandfather passed away. So we flew to Seattle, had a three-day weekend with the family, flew back, and kind of threw our schedule off whack. But anyways, um, in butter news, David and I are celebrating our seven-year anniversary tomorrow. Go us! We made it! <laughs> anyways, um, like and subscribe below if you want to watch more of our videos, or check out our Facebook page and our blog where we keep up with our current happenings. Thanks, guys!